Hello there, YouTube brothers and sisters. Oh, we're back. This would be my final response to my final response video. Yeah. And I'm not saying that in a mocking way to you guys. Um, the channel's name is Soldier for Christ we're at war. His name's Steve. Sounds like a pretty straight up decent guy. Uh, he commented on my last video that I made about CES Talking Doctrine and now for the Most High Jesus. Because Sister Lisa on the Most High Jesus channel kind of went on a bit of a rant. Um, So anyway, <clears throat> I made a video on it, and uh, then this fella, Steve, he commented on my video about, well he made a half decent comment and then said something about he did a live stream, sorry my eyes are, it's four in the morning right now, um, he did a live stream and He's wondering if I saw it, and if I did, he'd like my opinion on it. And I didn't saw it, so I looked for his channel, and I found the live stream. And it's three and a half hours, and I just finished watching the full three and a half hours of it. And it was Angel, um, the other lady that was involved, and Ben. And Steve, who had prior dealings with Matthias. And they went over some more of the truths from their side of the story. Um, because we've had ten hours of Matthias's truth from his side of the story. Um, So, after the three and a half hours, Steve, I would give you my opinion. Oh, my goodness. Um, at this point, frankly, really, uh, I really want to just go over here. And I've got some really solid, like these are solid, solid walls. And I just think I should go over there or wherever. Maybe over to that hardcore solid wood do door. Take my hat off and just really start banging my head. Really. Because I do love y'all. Um, some of you guys are much nicer the way you talk. I'm a little rougher, gruffer around the edges. I get that. But man. If you guys thought I was frustrated before. Three and a half hours I listened to that. Very um, calm, nicely said rebuttal of what Matthias said about you guys and your chance to be accusing towards him and exposing his wrongs. <clears throat> And so now we've had your side of the story for three and a half hours. And his side of the story for ten hours. CES is for not very long. Renee put a little bit out. I've got an hour or so on it. Still nothing. Still nothing. Um, because I have two complaints here right now. And Steve, just so you know, because this was a reply to your, this has nothing to do with you. Um, well, I suppose even you in a little way. Because you said, you know, like, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, cause a problem. So I just shut up. Well, 
Victoria. Good to see you back. Um, and I apologize, Victoria, because you and me have had it out a couple times in chat, just because in chat things get misunderstood so quick, right? Um, but she put it very well. Uh, like, you can't. There's, you can't mess with the simple gospel, period. And she said, oh, I, I don't believe in this. I think you should stand up and say something. And I believe that. Um, which is kind of why I always stand up and say something. Because the truth is more important. Like a chat I had yesterday. I get in trouble a lot in chats. Because I'm too rude. Well, at one point I'm like, you know what, guys? Paul sometimes was rude. Because he cared more about your soul than your feelings. You know? Alright, so let's get to point number one. I don't even know how to put it nicely. Like... You guys all as a panel, and from what it sounds like, all each individually, knew how bad Matthias's doctrine was. And you left him on your panel for people like me to listen to. To wonder, you know, like, huh, well, he must be somewhat vetted. He's on the panel. Guys like me who are saved by somebody like, say, Renee. Well, saved by Jesus, obviously, but through Renee's videos, right? And so you put a little stock in someone like that. You know, someone that screamed the truth at you enough times that you went, Wow, really? And I got saved, reborn, born again, found the Lord, found the truth. Come over and check out my channel. And Renee, I got nothing against you, and I'm not dissing you for doing it. I thought it was, at first it was okay, but anyway. <clears throat> so people go to this channel, right? And people are watching this channel, the congregation. I've heard the word used. And I don't mean to be picking on you too much, Luca. It sounds like you have a really big heart. I see you as a grumpy, angry guy. Uh, and maybe this is why, right? If you've been dealing with all of this crap inside the panel all this time, and if you've been having to go against what you believe is right because the other panel member saying these things that doesn't sound right, biblically... <sighs> well, I'm sorry if this hurts your feelings. Stand up and be a freaking man for your congregation. You are the leader of the church, brother. Sorry, because I love you. And I know I see that this is hurting you. I saw your comments to those people, like that Nori fella and stuff. And I see your heart, Luke. I see your heart, my brother. And I love you. And I totally forgive you. But it is frustrating to know that you guys all knew that he was whacked right I'm sitting here going okay well these guys are on the ball like I know Renee's got her you know she's got a couple eschatology things or whatever that you know maybe will differ on the shape of something the size of something the whatever of something but the gospel is the gospel right and that's our rock solid foundation and that the we can, whatever, but the gospel is the gospel. So I just assume that everyone on your panel agrees with your gospel. The gospel. But here we find out that all this time you've doubted his truth or whatever on the gospel. You know what I'd say to you, bro? So what do you think anyway, bud? See, I went on his show. I thought, oh, well, yeah, I can talk to this guy. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm watching it afterwards. 
I could only watch a little bit of that show. I was just, I was disgusted. I felt played. Um, I felt like I was made a fool of. I don't know how many times he said, I'm not calling you a Calvinist, but then I'm not a whatever Calvinist. I know because I had to look it up. I Google things when I get called these names because I get called everything. Because what? I talk about the truth and stand up for the truth. The simple gospel and keeping it simple. Not this long process of salvation. And all the other crazy things he talks about, right? <clears throat> well, I found out pretty quick that that guy wasn't really... He wasn't really on my side. You know, I started seeing like, wow, this guy kind of... He kind of just mocked me and stuff the whole time and talked around everything I said and just tried to use things I say to make what he's saying and I'm like what and I was done I couldn't even watch my own interview with the guy maybe an hour I don't think I made it that long <clears throat> why did I do all this because I trusted him why did I trusted him because he was on CES with you guys and I trusted you guys. And I'm not blaming Renee. I'm just telling you. I was watching her show and she said, come over to CES. And when somebody like Renee says, come over to CES, they're a good little group of church people. I believe her. Because she's only showing me that she says the truth. Right? So come over there, just trusting. And see all the nice friendly people. Fine. And there's like seven or eight people. Because I've heard pe people comment, well, I don't know how anybody could have seen this and not know it. I'll tell you how. There's five, six people on this panel. You ask, you don't have like, and I'm, I'm not trying to critica criticize, I'm just simply stating fact. You don't have like this church service, okay? You have this other thing where there's question day and fun Friday and things like that, right? And so you have a five or six person panel some days and everybody gets their chance to say their opinion and it's usually a long opinion from each person and sometimes by the time we get to person four like i'm sure me and most of the people forgot the question sometimes the questions are like long questions right and so it's it it's really easy to not catch on. I've lots of times went, what? Uh, I don't know, he seems to, like he's got a lot of information, so he must do some digging, but just weird things you would hear him say, right? Then when he got on the salvation, is it process? I was like, no, man, we got to talk. That's just wrong. You can't tell people that. That's right back into works or whatever, right? And then you can't do that. That ruins people's lives. So, <clears throat> yeah, the first thing is really not impressed with the way you guys just let him be in there for that long. Because if what everything you guys are saying is true, you've known about this for a long time including sister lisa who said she never knew nothing because she wasn't included in nothing and two months ago she heard him say something that was basically not true to the gospel and she said what and he backpedaled but she knew what he said but she didn't really but she okay well then you knew for two months too and none of you guys told us okay none of you guys took it to yourselves to go look at Dude, um, I'm going to ask you a simple question. What's your uh, take on this simple gospel? And when he tells you his long extended whole bunch of different works and different kinds of faith and all the other different things that he thinks might save you if you're far enough along on his meter stick, right? Or he tells you the truth of what the gospel that saves you is that I can give you in under a minute the truth with some numbers that you can double check in the Bible 
right for your own self and, and make sure that you are truly saved by the Lord and not just by my ideas, right? And I can give you that in under a minute. And it's simple. It's very simple. Um, Jesus Christ, the one and only Son of God, He was died on the cross to pay for our sin debt, paid in full, was buried, was raised again three days later from the dead, seen by many, as scriptures foretold and told, right? That's it. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, uh, Romans 10, 9, and John 3, 16. Romans 10, 9, profess with your mouth and believe it in your heart, you're saved. Uh, John 3, 16, basically, God says, if you believe on my son, I'll give you everlasting life. That's it. So now, if the guy can't tell you that, you need to kick him off your panel, uh, block him, blacklist him, and tell everybody. We've made a huge mistake. Unfortunately, this other person does not agree with us on the basic core gospel, and we have to keep a good gospel and not an accursed gospel. And so we apologize. This is part two to all of our congregation who's been possibly hurt or harmed by this situation, which I still haven't heard you guys. Even after me coming vocally out and giving you these big clues about how I'm talking for the congregation, the people that got split apart and hurt and are fighting each other and calling each other names and stuff now. You guys have all still kept it about you. You're worried about what we think about you. You're worried about your public opinion polls and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm going to be honest. And I was asked for my opinion. I'm going to give it to you. I watched the whole three and a half hours, guys. I think it was three hours and 28 minutes, wasn't it? I wanted to stop a couple times because, I mean, I had heard what I needed to hear. And I'm not trying to be derogatory because, you guys, it was a very well-made video. Um, you're pretty good at not attacking the guy too bad, right? I mean, even though if everything you said is true, you should be kind of attacking the guy a little bit. At least seriously exposing his lies and false gospel so that innocent people don't go to talk and doctrine right trusting him because he's one of you and meanwhile at the same time he was actually not one of you um, never planning to be one of you <clears throat> and then number two you know like you didn't uh, None of you guys really have ever shown any concern for what this has done for the congregation, except maybe Steve here a little bit at the end, and then um, Angel a bit at the end too as well. She did make a couple comments about it. So, I mean, I think you guys should know that, right? You should know it. I know you guys' personal feelings have been hurt. I get that. I've been there. Been there, done that. But it's not about me or my feelings. So many times I've had to be wrong, right? When I think I'm right, right? But I have to be wrong. Because sometimes it's better to do what's right than to be right. And lots of times I've had to just do what's right instead of trying to be right. And what would have been right for you guys to do would have been openly speaking to your congregation with love and some apology because who do you think got hurt? Just you guys? I mean, I know a couple of you guys got hurt pretty good over it. Um, I 
don't know her really well, but I'll bet you Sister Renee's pretty hurt over this. And if you get to watch this, Renee, and if you do have that feeling of guilt that I just had a sense of, oh no, you know, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Everyone loves you. We love you. Um, Luke, don't feel guilty. I love you, man. Um, <laughs> sometimes you irritate me. Sometimes I irritate you. I get that. And that's okay. Um, still love you, man. Um, I know you guys both got hurt pretty good. Angel, I would imagine you got hurt pretty good. Uh, ben, I know you got hurt. Um, and I appreciated your apology. I felt like you were a little bit... Um, Unwilling to admit that you may have made a mistake, but you did apologize. You can't wrong a man for that. And if you don't recognize it and respect it, I believe, then it's there's something, you know, something wrong with me at that point. So I did really appreciate it. Um, Steve, who I like so far. I think you're a pretty good guy so far. I don't know. Three and a half hours tonight and a little bit the other night there where all you did was laugh and make jokes and stuff. And I thought that was cool. You know, this definitely need a little bit of laughter in the situation. Um, couple of people, you know, have spoken, like to me. <clears throat> uh, okay, two more things. First, Sister Lisa might have been a little hard on you. Might have been a little hard on you. Just a little, but I might have been a little hard on you because I didn't know this after this three and a half hours i didn't know any of this part of it right um which obviously you would have been privy to this knowledge at least probably before i would have been tonight right so when you're saying i can see a devil and call a devil well you're knowing all of this other stuff And so technically speaking, if he is knowingly going against the gospel that saves, then he is a wolf. Pretty much. That's how you got to look at that, right? Um, if you tell a man, sorry, brother, this is the gospel that saves and he says no 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 and his little tail wags then you know right um i didn't know any of this stuff i know he says some whack stuff right i've heard some whack stuff out of him but i didn't know any of this deception thing or all of this other stuff that you guys have known about whether you, how much you knew, sister, I don't know, but I know you knew a little bit. Okay, so, that being said, I may have been a little hard on you, but at the same time, the whole thing with the witches and stuff, you really need to look into that. You're giving away too much power to just lost human beings that think they get power from calling on them witches and devils and stuff right they get their little thing yeah i do i understand witchcraft and stuff don't, don't get me wrong but i also understand that it's absolutely nothing compared to the lord it's literally nothing 
and the way you speak of it it's almost with this reverence of the witchcraft is real man you're not taking it seriously enough he's coming in here and he's changed everything for the christian first of all there's discernment which is why spidey sense tingled around matthias right and that's why things didn't sound right when matthias would speak um, We'll just leave it at that. One more thing. You can't just leave it at that. Because you do go you go a little too far with it. You really do. You're responsible too. You're telling these people this stuff. And you're using references <clears throat> from movies. Like Jedi Mind Warp and and comparing reality to fantasy too many times and comparing what's happening in in the bible here to witchcraft and stuff like that as if their spells have these great powers and they can come in and just break apart the whole fellowship and without trying to sound biased or whatever I do know what you're talking about and I do know that there's active witches and warlocks that work actively against the church I know that they go into churches and cast spells I know that they put hands on people to cast spells and stuff and I know what their spells do to me nothing sealed Good to go not worried about it and I don't put any emphasis on what they do the whole world is fallen so some are actively trying to be a witch some are actively trying to change their genders some are actively trying to pretend that they're the leopard man None of them scare me or bother me or make me worry about my salvation. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole world is fallen. So it's the saved people and the lost sheep. Now is the lost sheep thinking that they're a witch today? Maybe. Maybe. Is the lost sheep a Calvinist today? Maybe. Is his name Matthias today? Maybe. Either way, I'm not the judge. Okay. Um, we have rules, right? You take the problem to the brother. If it doesn't work, three or four, you go to the brother. If that doesn't work, it goes to the leaders. And it's dealt with. If it's a brother, you go to him a couple times, he, he, he won't, nothing, then you, you stop. Mark and avoid, you're done. Does that mean you think he's the devil? No. But you don't go and argue and argue and argue against it, right? Because then it's just going to cause strife and division even if it's just for you and that person, right? There's reasons the Bible has these rules. Am I perfect in the rules too? No, I make mistakes too. Lots of times, I get that. But this isn't about that. And this is about this whole thing. And like I said, I might have went a little too far with some of the things I said, but at the same time, Sister Lisa, you you go a little too far with some of your theories and conspiracy theories and stuff. And I love a good conspiracy theory. Love it. But this isn't about that. This whole thing was about Matthias and his doctrine and the fact basically that it was allowed.
for a long time. Steve said it's a year and a half ago or something that it sent him away. And then there's people saying that they've done research and, and he's wrecked all kinds of ministries and all kinds of... Right? So you should have stood up for the truth a long time ago and protected your congregation. You see, because as shepherds, you're responsible for your what? Sheep. As teachers, you're responsible for what? Your students. And again tonight, like I said, after three and a half hours, how many hours I've been waiting, watching, listening? It's all about you guys. Matthias, it's about what you guys did to him and how he was right and he was wronged. You guys, it's about how he was wrong and you were wronged and you were right. What about us? What about the congregation? Right? What about us? What about, actually, you know what? Luke? What about me? What about me? You tell me you never even heard any of these videos I made a video? And you didn't watch any? Or you don't care? Or... I don't know. You know? Like... I'm the congregation. I'm the voice of the congregation. Nobody else is really saying much about it that I've seen. I don't know. And you guys just don't care about the congregation. Well, maybe you don't, I shouldn't say you don't care. Because I don't know. And you might care. But you're not showing that you care. Because I'm out here visibly looking for that little bit of you cared about us a little bit because I did catch the two lines in the 13 hours or so of 14 hours yeah Lisa's was an hour plus so over 14 hours of just you guys talking about you guys and the other guy not us, the congregation, who you would think would be your first concern. First concern. Now, one more thing. Luke, I know that this is a concern of yours. I know that. I've heard things said in the conversation that tells me that you are broken over what's going on and you care about what people hear. Um, you're just not that kind of guy to stand up against it or something, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why why it happened, but I know that you have a good heart. I know that you're not a cruel, mean guy or something, right? So don't take me wrong. Um, oh, and it's Brother Dave, who is the guy that's really on the ball for uh, patching things up and good man, good brother. Um, I think I touched down everything. That I think would be my response to the responses from the whole CES talking doctrine soldiers for the most highs Yeah, I think you guys missed the whole point, to be honest with you. Really do. You're all worried about yourselves. It's heartbreaking to see. got to tell you, it's heartbreaking to see. By the way, the list you guys were listing off of people that left, there's many more. I know a few myself personally that left CES just and it's a bad vibe is what it is I kept coming back I kept coming back even when you banned me I was there 
I had to keep an eye on somebody that's there all the time. <clears throat> Why? Because I have a feeling that I have to protect who? The congregation. I'm the sheepdog kind of a person. I'm going to go and get bit by the wolf. I'm going to get his attention. Hey, over here. Wolf, hey. Over here. Right? That's me. That's who I am. So I stayed there. But a lot of times I couldn't even stay. You know, I just... Some of the things that were said and... It's supposed to be a church. So, in all things give thanks, right? So, we're going to say thank you, Father. And for what? Well, there's got to be something good in this, if nothing else. Thank you, Father, for showing us the truth. Um, even if it's a little bit late, thank you for showing us the truth. Thank you for showing me the truth. Um, and I just really hope and pray that this can work. This can fix itself somehow. The Lord can fix it somehow. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. So that uh, CES can keep going and their congregation can stay there and, and get some edification from it. Um, there was a lot of people, I think, that needed it. And to see this ruin it would really, it would really be heartbreaking. Um, even though there's a lot of it that I personally don't agree with or whatever and have been upset with the fact that it's there and it helps like someone said about my videos if it even helps one person right then it's worth it and I know it helps people so I really hope you guys can get over this and uh, I guess what I said about you all should get together talk about it figure it out whatever <clears throat> knowing what I know now I wouldn't say that I, I would say you all should get together separately and see yes you should start banging out the true simple gospel a lot more um, a lot more guaranteed every show you should start it with the simple gospel let it be known drop some up don't worry about your Christians and your changing virtue things and whatever new little things get out there with the gospel have it on you want something cool to go across your screen put the gospel across your screen uh, the passages, people that come in, they might watch, oh, what's 15, 1 to 4, and, and then look it up, right? Um, those are cool things to flash. I'm just saying, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but it should be about the gospel. And then chat, and then maybe end it with the gospel, right? And uh, keep it going, you know, keep it going. You don't have as many people now. Is that a bad thing? No. You had too many people anyway. Really? How many people you want on a panel? Five, six, seven? It's a yes or no question. You got nine people's answer. You go through two or three questions a night. Right? Because, like, too many people. And if you're worried about someone's feelings more than my salvation as your um, congregation you should rescind yourself from your job uh, I might have used the wrong word you should quit if you're too worried about hurting someone's feelings on the panel 
or you're too worried about what somebody might think about you as opposed to being worried about the salvation of the people that are watching your show then you should quit straight up no matter who you are I don't care and that's me too right I'm here for a reason and it's not to get rich it's not to make friends it's not to get likes heck I'm barely here for views I'm here for that one person that needs to hear it that's it guys I love you and I really I really hate being this guy you know I really do It'd be nice when everybody saw Church for the Truth and they, oh, there's Church for the Truth. He's always happy and making jokes and laughing with us. Ha ha ha. I can't be that guy here. I have to be that other guy here. Check and balance guy all the time. Uh, you think I like it? I think it sucks, to be honest with you. You've had something going on in your congregation that's been going on for a long, 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 long time. And this is over and above the Matthias thing. And you know what it's about. And you never deal with it. Because you're always, you don't want to be seen as somebody that's unforgiving and unchristlike and all that stuff. Well, Christ is the one who wrote the book. And he's the one that gave us the rules and regulations that are in the book. Like the one strike, two strikes, three strikes, you're out, man. Not a year and a half of strikes to a nothing ever changes. And it still hasn't changed. It's the same. You just support because you don't want to object. And yet somebody like me who gets in there and just says it the way it is, ban them, block them, delete the comment. And I mean people see it, guy. It's not just me. Other people see it. I get comments made to me like, wow, I can't believe they did that to you. Like, oh, it's crazy. Uh, and like other people come to you, right? Oh, you should let him back in. Well, he's a bad person and I don't trust your judgment if you like him. Just because you don't like him. That's not right. But anyway, this is starting to turn into a rant about people and it's not supposed to be this is a response to the last three and a half hours of talking about this thing that's going on with the CES and Matthias <clears throat> here's the lowdown of it Matthias has a false doctrine that teaches something that isn't the simple salvation of grace through faith alone in Christ alone he teaches something else Kind of confusing just exactly what it is. Some kind of a decisionism, faithism, longism, process of salvationism. One of those sort of a doctrines. Um, that's what he does. That's what he teaches. And I, I could see where he probably... I can see where he actively tries to divide now at least right because i see his actions in the other chats and stuff afterwards right uh, i see his comments so there's that part of it and then there's the other half of it there's the ces panel that's left over okay um i didn't know but you guys are saying that brother daniel believes the same thing that matthias believes and he's still on your panel. And so far, Brother Daniel's never ever done anything or said anything wrong to me ever. But Brother Daniel, if you believe 
the same doctrines that Matthias believes, you believe a false doctrine, okay? And if the panel, if you know that this guy, Daniel, believes a false doctrine, and you keep him on this panel with you, it's going to make me really wonder about what's your motives. You want to save Brother Daniel, you pull him off to the side, and when you're sure of his doctrine, you bring him back in. You all need to start acting like you're responsible for all of those souls and those people that are hearing you. Because I hate to be the one to tell you, but you are. Okay? Um, so the rest of the panel, I really believe you should... No, and I know none of you have to or probably will listen to me, but... You guys need to start doing things properly. Like, you have a wonderful thing. You have potential for a wonderful thing. You may have ruined it. It might be over. I see your views are getting pretty low. So, it might be too late. But hopefully not. Well, if, if the Lord wants it to work, it'll work. But you'll need to do it right. You need to do it to glorify God. Not yourselves. Not yourselves. You need to swallow the pride. Um, one more thing I might as well throw in there. Because I'm talking about pride and it was a word pride. Well, Brother Luke, you throw so many plugs in for your videos that you've made on every topic that's ever been about anything in the Bible. And I'm sure you've got a video on that and you'll tell us about it. Because you do that every time. You do do that a lot, and lately you haven't, but you used to tell us a lot how many times, how long you've been in in the ministry, and how long you've been doing YouTube videos, and, you know, like, I think it's 34 and 13, isn't it? 34 and 11? I don't know. But anyway, the point is, it's not all about being a plug for you. You have an opportunity to get on here and share some good, simple gospel truths that save people and then some good fellowship time that can edify people you know use it wisely instead of this and carefully because I'm really not impressed with you guys if you all knew this about Matthias for this long I mean well, after hearing what I heard tonight this three and a half hours of Hearing who this man really is and how long he's been this man I'm very disappointed with all of you guys for subjecting us to that that's just wrong that's just wrong you should have you should have stood up for the gospel like Victoria said just stand up it's the truth that's it so, yes, this will be my my video. I I want to say my last, but I don't think it is. Um, I may have left a little bit of confusion in Matthias's mind on where I stand. I think he knows because. Um, in one of the chats he came in and was just being divisive and he was he was only there to divide and, and cause division and I brought out some verse about division of the brethren or defined it or something and I just said this is the spirit I feel is this why you're here and he left the whole conversation and never came back so I don't know right but maybe it's time to have a little talk with him again too, right? What good would it do? I don't know. Maybe he would hear the truth and go, wow, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I should just do it like he does and do a three and a half hour video about all this stuff he's ever done wrong. Come on, guys. You know what I mean? I did. Did want for everybody to get together and talk again but that was because I thought everybody had the same doctrine to find out that his doctrine is that off 
and you knew it. And that I'm not crazy, because I'm just a babe in Christ, right? But I was catching so many red flags when this guy was like, wow. But he was your trusted guy on CES, right? So I know that he must have the right gospel at least. I know you guys are okay with your liberty and all that. Not when it comes to me, mind you. But your liberty and stuff, right? Charity and all that. But you got to have the right gospel. Otherwise... shouldn't be on there and if you guys knew he didn't have the right gospel and you just left him on there spouting his false gospel ideas to all of us that's wrong and that's on you straight up so like I said I love you guys um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to loop I, I know you're having a hard time and I'm on here giving you more of a hard time and I don't mean to do it that way but I mean gotta say what I gotta say and you are responsible for some of these things that I've been speaking of, right? And it's your show. Whether you want to claim it or not, we all know it's your show. So. And one more time. I love you, Lou. I really do. And I don't like that I'm picking on you. I don't like it at all. Um, it would be nice if I didn't have to. You know? Hi, I'm Brother Luke. Um, this is the CES channel, and I'd like to say a little momentary prayer. And then you could just speak to the Lord for a moment about Father, can you just make this exhortation, this video, somehow touch their heart instead of just making them angry and more upset? Just thanks. <clears throat> it's okay to say a prayer over your ministry, over your message, right? It's okay to ask the Holy Spirit to come in and, and work through your video through the day, right? Or through the time to help the people in the chat. It's okay to ask God for help. It's okay to say hi. He's God. Um, if you have any doubts on what public prayer is, it's stuff like me praying on here for you guys to see that I pray. Right? Oh, Father, blah, 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 blah. Are they watching? Yeah, they saw me praying. Oh, good. Oh, I was praying. I'm a very religious guy. That's public praying. It's not not when you pray in public right it's your motive it's like everything else that it's your heart God knows your heart so if you're honestly reaching out to God and saying okay father can you just help us on this broadcast can you help me make it through this message can you help me make sure that the Holy Spirit does the praying on these prayers Lord and I don't get in the way and stuff like that. and he will help you with these things he'll answer your prayer right and sometimes the Holy Spirit will just take over and you'll have a wild prayer. Like, it happens to me sometimes. Because I'm not a good praying guy. I don't, like, I'm not a good prayer guy. Like Steve was asking, do you guys want to have a prayer? Do you, oh, not me, not me, not me. Well, that's me. I'm not like, mm, not me, not me, not me. But sometimes I've found lately that people want prayer. I'll go, oh, I'll, well, let's go pray, right? I'll, I'll pray. And then... You just start in with, thanks, Father, it's good to be here, you know. And pretty soon, I stop praying, and the Holy Spirit starts praying, you know. And then it's cool, because the Holy Spirit knows, he knows what to say and what, you know. I don't know, I'm just some guy, man. The Holy Spirit does that stuff, you know. And you can't, you can't ever have that if you don't let him do it. You know, and I really do love you guys. That's why I'm here. I really do. Um, and I hope 
I hope somehow that this all gets figured out and settled and, and back to normal somehow. Or a new normal is made, you know, and you guys just move forward. Just, just move forward, you know. Block him, get some good wrench guys that are going to notice who he is and get him out. Don't worry about if people, oh, how come you always block him? Because he's a troll. Whatever. Whatever. Really. Your congregation souls are worth more than people's feelings. They're three feet of unicorn space or whatever it is, right? Stand up for the truth of the gospel. That's what's really important. Alright guys, it's a minute or an hour already, so I'm going to shut her down. I love you, and I hope this helps. I really, really hope this helps. God bless.